What's going on guys? OG Outcast here this time with another Game Guardian video. So as you can see I've been playing around with this car a little bit since the last video I made where I show how to edit libraries with the uh, NSP editing. But this time I'm going to show you how we do it with Game Guardian. Now as you know some cars that you get you can already go through and it will allow you to change some stuff of course you won't be able to get a library like this but game guardian would help you get that but also in the game you come across vehicles that will not let you change it you know unlimited freshness let's take this Ford Raptor for example I don't know about you guys, but I find that a little annoying that you can't customize every vehicle. Alright, here you go. Unlimited freshness. So, that's it. Out. Oh, license plate is the only thing that's going to let you go. Well, not no more. Alright, so to do this hack, you got to go into your tuning. I like to use tires because just a couple of clicks on either the plus or minus will usually change your Evo number and it's less than having to click sometimes on either the nitrous or whatever so I choose tires but you guys can do whatever you want anyway as usual bring up the game guardian make sure you got the latest files click here if it doesn't pop up for you and then select it all right, now what we're going to be searching for here is our performance and Evo numbers. So 481, 604. It'll be a D-word search. All right, so we come up with 52 results. Well, we won't have to worry about sifting through that many. All right, it's already changed, so. Go back in and search for both. And then we can refine, as you can see, it's dropped us down to 11. We'll refine for just the 608. Sometimes you get lucky, it's the first one. But click the line, go into it, and alright, this happens to be the first one. How I know it's because you've got this row right here of all 1 billion starting numbers. As we scroll up here, you'll see you've got your Evo followed by your performance. This three here would be for gold star versus purple star. Right here is your tier. So zero equals tier one, one equals tier two, and so on. So if I change that to a zero, it's going to turn this truck into a tier two. But we keep scrolling up here. Now we're going to pass this purple number. We're going to pass this double purple number. Right in here, this section, this is the libraries. This is your uh, current library, and this is what the library was before. I recommend just changing both numbers. So to show for this example, we'll just drop it one number and see what happens. So click both lines, click insert, I mean, uh, here, edit. Let's go 224. All right, this is your library position. Now, some vehicles will let you change that, others won't. You can play around with it in your own time. But for right now, let's just see what we did to the library. So we're going to back out of this. We're going to hit the dyno button. And the reason for hitting the dyno button is without doing that, when you hit the back button, it won't pop this up to save. And this is important. Okay, so I've completely changed this truck now. It's given it an entire wrap. I don't really like that. I mean, it's keeping the original color for the hood, but let's go back in. Let's try going up. Oops, I hit the wrong one. And let's try going up a number.
in, hit the dyno button to prompt this. Well, now it's got a carbon fiber wrap, I guess you would call that. No. That's actually kind of not bad. I think I like that. Now, to show you if this is going to work or not, for again, you know, you can play around with these cocks and they don't all do anything when you change it. Oops, I forget to be in here. It doesn't matter that I wasn't in there. I still hit the dyno button. And any change I made, if it's going to work, would take effect. All right, and there we go. Let's change it back to red without the livery on the back. Let's see what changing it to a two will do. it in combination still change this let's go 655 something here should jump up there let's see if that makes a difference oops god damn it I keep hitting the wrong button I'm doing it all night folks Again, in combination, if I change these back to the zero that it was originally, oops. well. Well, I guess that's what that gives you. All right, anyway, let's move on to some other things here. So, going back in, all right, so you know, in this area, again, just to refresh you, start out at your performance and Evo, scroll up till you get to the double purple, attack this area there. Now, you can bring it up a little further. This is another, actually, you know what? Yeah. I think this is calipers here. So the calipers were black before. Now they're gray. Uh, just to see the in a different color. I'll change that to a five. black again or dark gray I guess you can decide there let's try it one more time let's go to one looks good. I think I'll keep them. Now, the number above this should actually be a libraries. I think they set it down there below. But let's mess with this to see what it does. So let's go to 225. Let's see what it 
can't change anything. And it could be because of that green app I got going on in there. Something extreme, I guess. 444, how about that? I mean, this is pretty much what you'll be doing is playing around, seeing what numbers work and what different colors, or in some cases, libraries, which they'll give you. still want to revert this one back but I don't think 226 was the original number pretty sure I swapped for that yeah I have I still think that green is much better looking color I'll return to that one more time. Now I don't remember what that number was. Ha! Huh. Well, I guess it gives me the opportunity to test out something else and see what 555 would give me. Back to red. Hang on. I think I'll have to stick in the 200 range. 220. Well, it doesn't like that number either. This is what I'm exactly what I'm talking about, guys. It's more or less hit or miss and play around. I really can't remember what that green number was. But sometimes it helps to write stuff down. I guess I can always watch the video back. Alright. Oh, did I change the hood there? Looks so like I gave it a black hood. Well, that's pretty much, in a nutshell, what you'll be, uh, messing with for within the search and there's one other thing I wanted to show now you'll notice I'm getting a little over 2000 RP this right here would normally most likely be a zero unless it's a car that they've already been giving you some boost for like certain legend cards were this is your RP boost, so that number is 2,000, make note of that, let's change it to 5,000, same idea, hit the dyno, as soon as I hit this back button, you can already see it's changed to 5,000, so now this car, truck, excuse me, will earn me 5,000 boost. I don't need 5,000 with that, so I'll change it back. Dino, back, and as you see on the returning screen, eventually, there you go, 2,000. Have fun with it, guys. Again, always hacking mod. With responsibly 2000 might be safe might not be I just started playing with it uh, there's my raptor symbols those will come back for me
try it one more time. I gotta play with it. I know, it's supposed to end the video already, you guys. I wonder what the hell. But if you're still watching, then obviously you're curious. Well, that's different. I don't care for that much. Let's, uh, let's drop it one more number before I get you guys out of here. See what this does. And then I might have to just give it a pain too. Yeah, nope. still. It's weird how sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Oh yeah, the interior, that's the other one I left out there. That should be I think this 444. Let's find out. Let's change it. I'm glad I happened to notice that. I knew I was forgetting something. Nope. That was the paint. It's odd how applying a library will just change the paint in some cases. Oh, that's why. I forgot to uncheck. So these have got to be reverted back to the 655. In order to get my beautiful green back. Yeah, there's my green, but still, it didn't change my interior. Could just be the number I'm choosing. I'm just getting lost and having too much fun and wasting your guys' time. So go out there and have some fun. Remember, Blue Stacks doesn't have to be what you use. You can get something on your phone. I use Virtual Exposed so I can run Game Guardian. But it is uh, more superior, I guess, running it on a computer. So, Alright, guys, have fun again. Hacking mod responsibly. OG Outcast out.